Today we are going to try and convert this two-channel RC car into a two-channel RC paddle boat. There are two independent motors, each on its own channel, that drive the rear wheels. There is no proportional control with this model, however, it does have a forward and reverse function. First, we need to mock up the basic mounting profile and take some quick measurements. We need to design a coupler for a shaft to connect the car output, and then a basic gearbox, as well as the paddles themselves. The idea is to use this package foam piece as the hole and connect the output shafts to the two paddles on either side of the craft. I'm taking a guess that we are probably going to need to reduce the output speed for the paddles and we can accomplish this by using a simple spur gear setup like this one. To get an idea of what kind of gear reduction we are going to need, we will use a high speed footage to measure the RPM of the output shafts. We're getting about 11 rotations a second, so let's reduce it with a 3 to 1 gearbox and target 3.7 rotations a second. One final measurement is to see where the water level comes up to on the hole. This allows us to design for panel depth placement in the water. Here's the final result out of the CAD program. Program. The outdrive gearboxes will be hot glued to the hole and the coupling shaft will be a wooden dowel. The paddle shaft will be 3D printed and each paddle wheel will have 7 paddles. Here's a view of the 3 to 1 gearing used to increase the torque output and lower the RPM. This design prioritizes 3D printing ease of use at an increased individual part count. This does afford some repairability to the device as an added benefit. Here are all the parts ready to go. And here's a quick little assembly clip as well as a bench test of the final product. Looks like everything here is in working order, and it's time to put it in some water. I don't know anything about paddle wheel mechanics or design, but this slow motion footage seems to be acceptable. Maybe it's still going a little too fast, but I'm really not that sure. The loaded speed is around 2 rotations a second, or 120 RPM. In operation, the paddle boat is nimble and fun to drive. You can see there is a slight drift to the left side, or the port side of the craft. I found out later that this was due to the wooden shaft swelling up from water absorption, and binding inside the gearbox. Later on, I enlarged the holes, and this eliminated the issue. The hole isn't exactly a streamlined shape, but it does allow the craft to come to a complete stop rather quickly, which I suppose can be an advantage. The addition of splash guards would be a good idea to include, as water was getting thrown up into the craft from the paddles. It would be interesting to do a study of paddle performance characteristics one day to see what designs produce the most force, or what the limit of RPM might be. This was a fun project, and a successful one at that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.